In addition to ongoing crisis rumors, Princess Charlene must now deal with another blow of fate, journalist Derek Watts has died. Princess Charlene has just enjoyed a boisterous family vacation on a yacht off Corsica, and now the 45-year-old has to cope with a loss, South African investigative reporter and presenter Derek Watts passed away on August 22, 2023, at the age of 74. Princess Charlene publicly sends her condolences. The Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation South Africa is saddened by the passing of Derek Watts. His legacy in the world of broadcasting and his contributions to various causes will always be remembered, reads the official account of Charlene's foundation Princess Charlene Foundation for the South Africa location on Watts' passing. Further, the organization emphasizes, our thoughts are with his family and loved ones at this time. Derek Watts and Princess Charlene have a very special relationship. When the wife of Prince Albert, 65, announced her pregnancy, it was Watts who suddenly announced on Twitter that Charlene was expecting twins. Her father Michael Kenneth Whitstock, 77, had revealed this to him. The reason, the two men went to school together. Derek Watts died of lung cancer. Derek Watts' former carte blanche co-host Ruta Landman revealed to the Portal News 24 that Watts lost his battle with lung cancer on Tuesday morning. Landman stresses that Watts' death leaves a huge hole, after all, she had known him for half her life. She goes on to describe her late colleague as a consummate professional who was easy to work with and often joked around. Carte blanche began in 1988, and although it was a difficult and turbulent year, the changes were inspiring and full of hope. We were always live in the studio, and I was always relaxed when he sat next to me. Nothing could rattle him. Nothing could catch him off guard, says Ruta Landman, emphasizing, he was always ready. His jokes always surprised me. We were different personalities, which meant the show had a wider range and reached more viewers in their hearts.